The camera's affixed to one man in fantastic form and the top scorer in the league. Can he add to his tally today? Live on EA TV. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And the lineup for the home side. Well, key to their success today will be the front three. If they combine well, are clever around the box and rotate their positions, they'll cause all sorts of problems. Here's how it looks for Southampton. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well-drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two forwards who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And the game begins. Can't argue with that little move. And space for the cross. Well, not cleared away completely. And problem solved for now. Walcott. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Well, on paper, this ought to be a mismatch because it's the most proficient attack in the league against the weakest front line in the league. Well, you're right, Derek. In front of these fans, you expect them to score more goals. They've been so good going forward. But you just never know. It might not click for them today. Pressing really high. Walcott. Not a great pass. Welsh. Barnes. And overcome all the difficulties and I think the threat has been averted Bailey Barnes now well lovely work to get past his man oh the keeper made it look routine it was anything but So the corner played into the box. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. It's with Araujo. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Well, no problems defensively. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Great work to confuse the defender. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there.
Corner kick played in. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Theo Walcott. Shot attempted. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Walcott! Just can't get it past him. A foul. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Jay Adams, he's beaten his man. Well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. Bailey, a good and fair challenge. Well, Southampton have had a lot of the ball during the last 15 minutes, as you can see. You sense it's inevitable the goal will come. It'll be certainly no less than they deserve. They just need to be a bit more clinical in that final third now. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Must take the lead here. Well, it's ended up being, quite frankly, easy for the keeper. Well, he should be hitting the back of the net. That's a poor effort. Well, they've given him too much space. He quartered the attack illegally now uh, perhaps a card is forthcoming and yellow it is a booking yeah he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card <laughs> and deep into the penalty area a decisive clearance it was. Excellent challenge. On the ball, Davis. And a decent save. Full credit. And over it comes. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Mohamed Salisu. Can they take the lead? And now it is there for him. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Redmond. No possibilities inside the box. But defensive efficiency there. And he's fired over the corner. Well, the danger is still there. I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. 
The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Well, just a quick reminder, more live football coming your way here on EA TV. I think you might enjoy this game. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. Nicely timed tackle. No real conviction in the challenge, but the danger averted for now. Please contact the nearest security guard. Thank you. Well caught. Can't miss, surely. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out any sign of danger. And unable to keep possession. Not an especially strong challenge. Redmond. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Southampton taking on Leeds United. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. And with that, the attack fizzles out and a goal has gone in at Old Trafford let's hear all about it from Alex Scott yes a third goal for Manchester United but it was a poor poor clearance which led to an easy close range finish they're ahead by three now with 65 minutes played Alex with the info as ever and can they create something oh wonderful save well he reacts so quickly there that's a great save For well, they've decided to make a change. Number 27, Ibrahima Diallo, to be replaced by number 6, Oriol Romero. He's driven in the corner, foiling them effectively. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Made it a bit too easy for his opponent. But he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Chance to finish. Well, they've solved the problem for now, but let's see. Well, something has happened at one of the other venues. Let's get the up-to-date news from Alex. It was Everton that was awarded the penalty, but it was a magnificent save. Top corner by the goalkeeper. The scoreline remains 3-0 with 73 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. We're getting the ball forward. And the cross is very much on. And crossing towards the far post. But goalkeeper's ball, disappointingly for them. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Nicely timed tackle. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. Substitution, for Substitution time it is. On the ball, Davis. Opportunity here. Oh, right in the nick of time. Oriol Romeo. Ten minutes to go then. Well, what an atmosphere we've got inside this stadium. These supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. Well, someone has scored in the United game. Let's find out precisely who. Alex Scott has the news. Yep, it's a goal for Everton. Could the goalkeeper have done better? Yes, but let's not take nothing away from that finish. They're behind 3-1 with under five minutes left to play. Thanks as always, Alex. Jay Adams. How can they find a late leveller? Let's fly here! Oh, he saved it well. Well, a corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. And they're making a change. Who's going to get on the end of it? Just far too close to the goalkeeper.
and space for them here on the flank can they put it away another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure a victory Delivering it. And they deal with the threat this time. Giving it a try. Making sure it didn't get past him. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes and they fully deserved their victory today.